today we'll look at examples for two types of genetic crosses, incomplete dominance and codominance. Incomplete dominance is when there isn't a fully dominant gene and a heterozygous genotype leads to a phenotype that is between dominant and recessive. This is also called blending, as the dominant and recessive traits blend together. Let's say we cross a homozygous red flower with a homozygous white flower. All of the F1 flowers grown are pink. This does not fit with what we've learned so far. That is because in this case the allele for red flowers does not overpower the white but instead blends with it to create pink. If two pink flowers from the F1 generation are crossed, what are the possible genotypes and phenotypes of the F2 generation? So now we cross the heterozygous pink flowers and we get 25% red, big R, big R, 50% pink, big R, little r, and 25% white with a little r, little r. Codominance, however, is when both genes in a heterozygous genotype are expressed at the same time. This is different than incomplete dominance. Incomplete dominance, the red and white alleles blended together to create pink in our example. If they had been co-dominant, then the flower would have been red and white. Blood type is the common example used with co-dominance. Human blood type is controlled by three alleles and we write them as capital I superscript A, capital I superscript B, and lowercase i. Both the capital I A and capital I B are dominant over lowercase i, but they are co-dominant with each other. So for type A blood, the genotype would be homozygous, capital I A, or heterozygous with a lowercase i, as it is dominant to it. Blood type B would be similar. But then if there is both A and B alleles, you would get AB blood type. Lastly, blood type O has the genotype of homozygous lowercase i. From this information, can a mom with blood type A and a dad with blood type B have children with all four blood types? Yes, it's possible if the mom's genotype is capital IA and lowercase i, and the dad is capital IB and lowercase i. There is a 25% chance of each A B, A, B, and O blood types. We'll do one more quick question with blood type. My dad has type O blood. My mom is type A. If I have type A and I have a sister with type O, can you determine the genotypes of my parents and my sister and I? Let's start with the easy ones. Both my dad and my sister will be homozygous little i. My mom and I will have a capital I A allele. But what about our second allele? My sister had to get a lowercase i from both parents. Therefore, my mom must have that allele. I had to get an allele from my dad and he only has little i alleles to give. So I am also capital I A and lowercase i genotype. The next genetics video, we'll look at our last type of genetic cross, dihybrid crosses.